Komeda, okay, but Kasi don't boss Buhari brain. Before he start, he said, Oga Buhari, I'm a comedian in case if he talk anything, make the boys no go tell him to do front jump or anyway. This video is one of the best videos you watch this week. I want you to share this video and let's go together to see how Buhari was laughing like Konya na Runya Kanike. Share this uh, video, Mr. guys. Mr. President, would you respect uh, my one thing, my colleague forgot to add is that I'm also a comedian so in case I say anything it wouldn't be taken too seriously he's actually interested and entertaining and though some of these boys will take me behind and make me do frog jump okay just to add that uh, mr. president sir um, rumor has it that that there's this plan to ban or more Oh. Bomo. Uh, we in Nemo State here is a bit of a concern for they happy us now. They laugh. because there's a special delicacy that we enjoy here called Nkwobi. This is not present, sir. Not in the mainly Bomo. Your, not in uh, the disturbing at all. So I am pleading no on sense. behalf of <laughs> most of us in Nigeria. I don't know what kind of meat they serve in State House, but some of us like Bomo with stew and Bobo is enjoying the entertainment. Now, if they ban this pomo, I don't know how we will cope. Uh, I don't know if you have tried pepper pomo lately, Mr. President. That thing goes well with cold beer. <sighs> and it's helping people manage stress, Mr. President. So I would say let us, instead of banning pomo, I have an idea of something to ban. Uh, some of these very expensive perfume. I, I think we should ban them. They are not really living up to their expectations. I had a terrible experience in one hotel in Lagos. I bought one of those very expensive perfumes. I went to an event in one of the places on the island. You know, Mr. President, how you're running into the elevator in Nigeria, you know, like, holy, holy, holy for me, holy for me. Then I run into the elevator, the door slams shut, not knowing that the Shady last Zodas. person that left there did something terrible. The gas that they left behind in the elevator, Mr. President, can kill anybody. But I was already in the elevator. That will be it's the time that, you and that your expensive though. perfume can shelter you from very foul smell. But this perfume disappointed. Not only that it disappointed, as the elevator continued its upward movement, on getting to the fifth floor, the door opened and this beautiful lady walked in. Oh. I knew she would experience the same thing I was going through. And they're happy now. They but that laugh. wasn't my problem. As the door slammed shut, it didn't even take up to 30 seconds. This is not present, sir. Nothing they worry him. Then she was staring nothing at me like I took her destiny. You know, send. <laughs> You know how you are in a tight situation, nobody is saying anything to you, but you know you are a suspect. That's how I felt. I felt like I was doing something wrong, yet I'm, I'm innocent, I'm also a victim. By the time we got to the seventh floor, she was almost crying. Your Excellency, at that point, I didn't hold it anymore. I said, excuse me, <sighs> ma, I didn't do it. I met it like this. This is how I met it, ma. You know, I had to explain, even if nobody asked me. Because um, I wouldn't let that pass. Yes. I want to also acknowledge the IGP, sir, that your men in uniform do an amazing job. I have a few friends who are police officers. Some of them I met at the last uh, retreat. Uh, I want to also use the opportunity to apologize to some of them that I've not called them since that time. But, you know, if you know a big policeman and you've not called them for a while, that's good news. That means I've not been in trouble lately. Uh, because uh, I would have called if I was in any kind of difficulty. So, if I've not called, you just know I'm doing fine. Yes. So, I, some, your men do a, good, they do a whole lot of nice job. I've been privileged to visit some of the stations. He's actually and interested the kind of and entertaining. Problems Nigerians though. bring. I don't know how your officers cope, because even me as a visitor, sometimes I want to run mad when I'm at the police station and see Nigerians bring complain. You know, and people are economic, economical with the truth. 
They brought in a young man the other time with bruises oh. all over. What did you do? He saw oh, Ghana, this small belly winning giving. Now, based on the happy now, they laugh. In my mind, I was wondering, is there a small belly and big belly? This is because my person said, not in the world. confusing. I don't know how. Not in the world. small belly winning giving landlord picking. I made him bitter. No sense. <laughs> As if that was not enough, another gentleman came in with a case. What is the you problem? Know, then, then you know. And Say, Google is enjoying the entertainment. We get small police cases. Ah. What actually happened? He said, no, that this man here that brought him to the station is just land. When he said, we get small court case. Oh. It's a small court case. Sometimes I wonder how you people handle these cases. Then you would think he's only criminals. Then you go to parties and you realize that people are also trying to be either politically correct or economical with the truth. You see a gentleman at a party, as soon as he sights a very beautiful lady, he dances towards her, starts a conversation, and Nigerians can be smooth when they meet a very beautiful lady. Hello, baby, how are you? Yeah, nice, nice to meet you. Oh, you look gorgeous. Then the girl sights the wedding band on his finger and say, ah, sir, are you not married? Then you now hear, eh, anyway, I'm a little bit married. I don't know how Nigerians come Shady up with this. Guys. People are not being honest anymore. You would think it's only men that do it. No, even women. I was at this event, and as soon as one of the ladies cited this young man who drove in a very flashy car, expensively it's dressed, actually interesting young man and approaches her, <laughs> begins to chat her up, then notices her wedding band, and says, oh, madam, I'm sorry, it looks like you're married. They say, well, not really. It's not just smart thing they do for my head. Then do small thing for your head, you be juju. You know, it's confusing. So, uh, uh, if uh, there's anything, maybe we should start creating awareness. Now, based the on the happy now, they laugh. Be truthful. You know, and in this era of flood, too many cases this are happening. This is not present, nothing they worry Just the other day, they caught a man with they his neighbor's him wife in his bedroom. And no his sense. neighbors <laughs> wanted to lynch him. Come on, how can you do this to your neighbor? He said, no, no, being bring the woman. A flood carry the woman and enter. He was in Tantani, though. And Bobby was in Tantani. And wash the woman. Enter a room. So he just the help him. Remove cloth, dry him. Anyway, I don't know how you people deal with these things. Mr. President, I will save your time. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen, for your audience. So, guys, what do you think? What do you think of this video? Please comment your opinion on this video. Share this video. Anyway, the video is entertaining, even though Boo Boo is involved. It's not that really giving me the, the joy it would have given me if Boo Boo is not there. But the video is actually entertaining. Of course, he's a comedian. He needs to, you know, address to the congregation as a comedian. He is. And with entertaining, what do you think? And how do you feel on this video? For me, I feel entertained, even though I'm in my house, sitting down in my house. I feel entertained. And I was actually entertained. I don't know for you. If you are not entertained on this video after watching this, <laughs> I beg, you get issues.